Hi there, welcome to this build of a 49 inch wingspan Diamond Demon. A lovely late 1930s vintage design that's going to be powered by this Bantam 19 spark ignition engine and this is from the early 1940s this engine. Now we're using a lovely set of bend buckle plans to build this. In the last few videos we've got the fuselage in a fairly advanced stage, it's not finished yet but we can't do anything more to, to it now until we've built the wings and the tailplane. So in this video we're going to be looking at building the tailplane and the fin and if you've seen the other videos you'll know we did some lamination a couple of videos ago so that we'd got the uh, skid on the back here and we also as part of that made the outline or the outer edge of the fin. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building not only the tail plane but we're going to be using this outer edge to build the fin. And I'm really looking forward to doing these and we need to give some thought about how we're going to mount them on the back here because even though these are great plans there's still quite a lot that it leaves to the imagination and for us to think about and to kind of work out what the best solution is. And to be honest, I quite like it like that. It's good for the, good for the brain to think about how we're gonna do these things. It gives us a little bit of leeway and uh, creative sort of artistic license. So anyway, I'm going to get the materials I need for the tailplane and the fin. I think we'll probably do the fin, uh, yeah, we'll do the fin first and I'll get this laid out on the board and we'll take a look at what we're going to do. Right, well let's get this fin and rudder assembly built. I've got a bit of the plan here which is stuck down onto my balsa building board and I've got some polythene on top of that. This is just the backing material off some covering film. Really good to save it, it's a great use for it. Now we're going to build the fin and the rudder as a single unit and then once we've got it cleaned up and profiled we will just cut the back here and the top and separate the two and then just clean it up a little bit. So we've got our outside edge which we laminated a few videos ago which I can just just needs this uh, trimming up a little bit to tie in this piece of balsa on this front edge. Now this piece of balsa on the front edge it says it's 316 square. Well, if you measure the, the plans, it's not 316 square, it's nowhere near it. But I think I am gonna use 316 because it needs to be 316 to tie in with the width of the lamination, but also this base piece, which is 316 by half an inch. We've also got some 316 pieces that come down and form the back of the fin and the front of the rudder. Now one of these actually follows through all the way down past the bottom of the fin and it, what I'll need to do is cut this piece of 316 by half inch to allow that to come down and then this will come in and meet it. Also the same on this side. This second piece for the rudder is you can see is just a lot shorter. Now this piece of 316 and this piece along the bottom slot down into the tail plane. So it's good that we build this first and then we can use this to make sure that we get the tail plane the correct width in that central section to hold this nice and firm. Now the only th other thing I would mention before I start building is that these cross pieces here says 1 8th by 316. Well they do need to be 316 wide so that they tie in with the width of this leading edge, the uh, 316 coming down here, but these look a lot thinner than, uh, than 1 8 to me and I'm using some 332nd I think this is, yeah this is 332nd and I think that will be fine rather than the 1 8 I think that's 1 8 is probably a little bit of, uh, of overkill perhaps. So that's 2.4 mil I'm using rather than the, the 3.2. And just one last thing, when I build the rudder assembly I'm going to be using some 
116, 1 1.6 mil plywood just as spacers to allow a little bit of a gap between these 316 square pieces and this bottom here so that we've got enough gap when we cut this out it's spaced so that we can use these cavan hinges uh, like that and, and the gap will already be there. If we don't space that gap we'll cut this, we'll step it out a little bit for the hinges and we'll have a little bit of a step here and here which we don't want. Right, well you can see this is all glued up now and as I said, you could see I used the spacers to, uh, to get that gap for the hinges. Now a couple of things to point out, I've tried to select really light balsa but I have got medium balsa for the upright and for this leading edge just to give a little bit of strength but these are as soft as I could find. I've also glued this joint here so when I separate this hinge I'm going to need to cut not only this back edge but I'm going to need to cut that as well and at the top. The reason I've glued this one here is because it will just while I'm profiling it will stop this edge just moving around a little bit it will just keep it a little bit more solid. So now I'm going to take this off the building board and you can see I was using CA, thin CA all the way through with this. So if we just separate this, slide the ruler underneath where it's stuck to the plastic and, uh, and then we have our fin and it's nice and straight hopefully. So what I need to do now is just trim this up a little bit and, uh, and then get it sanded and profiled. Well I've now got the fin and the rudder assembly built and I'll be perfectly honest with you, I absolutely love this kind of building. It is so simple, it's relatively quick, and I just think it looks great when it's done. Now, I've given this a rough sand, and just on the outside faces and around the edge here. I haven't done any profiling, and I'm not going to. I'll do that at a later stage, when I've got the tailplane done when I see how it slots into the tailplane and do that all at once with the tailplane. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build the tailplane. So I'm going to get rid of this dust, move my board back round and, uh, and we'll get set up to build that as well. And that's going to be quite an interesting build. But I think that looks lovely. Right, well let's get this tailplane built. Now we've got the plans on my flat balsa pinning board. We've got some plastic on it to protect the plan so we don't stick to it. And we've got all of the components that we need. We've got a 316 square leading edge. We've got a quarter inch deep uh, main spar, which is one eighth wide. And then we have the 
outer edges of the tailplane which are also one eighth wide. Now I cut these pieces and these little bits that go in the ends there by putting a piece of tracing paper over the, the plan, drawing it, then putting the tracing paper on the balsa and pinning through. And then I held the opposite sides together so I sanded them and got them identical. So I've now got my pieces, my outer pieces that are identical on either side, which is quite good because the actual tail plane is slightly different on either side, only a mill here and there, but so if you see me going over the line on one side and looking like I'm going out, it's because I'm evening it up and making it identical both sides. It's important when we do these outer pieces like this, we have the grain running down the longest length and also with these pieces that go in here, that they're running that way. It just gives it strength. If the grain was running that way, it'd be a weak point and it could just, um, just snap. Now, we've got the ribs, which are going to be in two sections, uh, or two pieces, should I say, and these are a quarter by 116. Now, these are the same thickness as the main spar, but they're slightly thicker, being a quarter, than the 316 leading edge and the 1 8 trailing edge. So we're going to build this flat on the board because the, the tail plane is going to have a flat underside. But then once we've got it done, we're going to carefully just sand in that aerofoil profile with a sanding stick. I think that's all to say. I think I'm going to, I did um and ah about doing an elevator on both sides. But because the tail plane comes right down, it does cause complications with how we'd operate both. But there's a single one on the plan. I've seen an RC assist fly with a single elevator, so we're going to go for that. It'll be simpler, lighter, and fingers crossed, it'll fly. <laughs> it'll fly okay. So I will start to get this uh, built up now.
Right, well, we've now got this tailplane all set out and glued up. And I didn't say this earlier, but I'm using the lightest balsa I've got, except for the leading edge, which is um, kind of a medium balsa. And actually, this central spar is a kind of a medium as well. Now, the underside of this tailplane stays flat, but the top side we need to profile. So I'm not going to rush to take it off the board. What I am going to do is I'm going to take out some of the pins, but I'm going to leave these ones which kind of extend um, beyond the, the, the tips here. And I'm going to leave that pinned and this is going to be stuck to a certain degree to the plastic which is going to hold it in place. So while I've got it nice and rigid like that, I'm going to try and just give it a little bit of a sand, a profiling sand, and see how, uh, how we get on with that. Because we need to bring this back edge down and we need to take the front down a little bit. And I think what I'll do, I'm just getting my uh, balsa plane, and I might just take the, the ribs down with a little bit of plane. I need to be so careful with this because this balsa is really, really soft. So just a couple of very, that's all it takes, just a couple of very light strokes and we're coming down. But we don't really want to be straight down either. We want to be profiled. So I'm just kind of doing as little as possible really just to make that slightly easier when we sand it. So I will carry on doing this and then um, I will uh, I'll sand it and we'll see how that works out. But I think just to take it off with a plane like this is probably quite a good move. Well I've now got this cleaned up and I've got a lovely aerofoil shape on those ribs. There's still more profiling to do. I've got the bull nose on the leading edge. I need to just check the, or bring these wing tips down just a little bit more. And I need to go through and just check the ribs and just make sure they're, they're really nice and smooth. But I'm really pleased with what we've done so far. And the thing that strikes me about this is just how light and fragile it is. It does make me wonder whether I should have used a, a harder balsa. Uh, it probably wouldn't have made much difference to the weight, but maybe added a little bit of strength. But hopefully it'll be okay. We'll just have to be really careful on those landings. Now I've added a, a gusset in here, which was on the plan, and I thought I'd add another one on that side. I've tried to put them midway between the balsa so they don't catch on the covering and um, we just see that lovely skeleton. But like I say, we just have to be really careful on the landings with this because it does seem very fragile. Once I get that hinged, I will need to profile or just check these edges that they don't step at all, but that's an easy job. I'm gonna draw this video to a close in a second, but there's one thing that we have to do, and, and that's have a look at what it looks like on the uh, on the actual model itself. Now there's a little bit of a, a flat needs to be put on there to bring this forward so there's a bit of a bit of an overhang on the back but we we won't worry about that and just slot the fin in and there we go. Oh that is great it's really started to take shape and to be honest if we'd made this out of heavier timber it wouldn't have looked right. That looks just absolutely lovely to my mind anyway and I find it really exciting to see how this is uh, starting to take shape. As I said I'm going to draw this video to a close in a second but I think just to say that in the next video I think we're going to be looking, looking at how we're fitting this to the uh, fuselage itself. The fin still needs a little bit of work so it sits down in the tailplane tail plane properly. I think that's probably what we'll do. But anyway, I hope you found this video interesting and useful. And please, come back and see how we get on in this journey of building this lovely vintage 
Diamond Demon.